Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey, I know it's been a couple weeks since I've done a video, but I've been kind of backed up right here lately. With uh, I think the last video I done was that little that little heavy duty tabletop grill, and I just been backed up with those things lately, man. A lot of people been wanting them, and uh, those and the fire pit grill, been knocked out a couple of those. Got a few more lined up, and uh, mason symbols knocked out a couple of those. A couple more things that I've already done videos on, so I, I just hadn't been shooting any video on them. But uh, like I say, just been kind of busy. Actually, I got another one of these tabletop grills right here. Getting the bottom painted on. It's upside down. I changed the leg on them where they're splayed out. And it's better. I think it's better like that. It's more stable. But I'll flip it in a little while and paint the top side. But anyway, man, uh, what we got going on. Got a video on a grill restoration kind of deal. Uh, oh, aluminum PK grill. A guy sent it to me from Iowa. Here's the grill right here. A guy sent it to me from Iowa. Uh, they're a group, of, a non-profit group up there called the Reformed Kettleman. And uh, I don't know if this is the grill they use, but they do a lot of grilling and cooking and giving the food away to shelters and, uh, and, and people in need and stuff like that. And uh, doing real good things up there. Good Christian people. Doing a lot of good stuff up there. Uh, look them up though. Re called Reformed Kettleman. And uh, anyway, he sent this grill. Like I said, it's an old aluminum PK grill. I guess you can see that PK on there. And the hinges are broke on it. You can see one's broke off there. Here's the other side. This is the bottom. The hinges are broke on it. Uh, you see these vent covers right here? There's one there, one there. There should be two on the bottom here. But they're missing. So I'm gonna make some of those and replace them. Get some hinges put on there and get some racks put in, a coal rack and a, uh, a food rack in there. And I guess he's got the stand to it. I know it sits on something. I think it sits bolted into here. And he's, I'm, I'm assuming he has that. This is what he shipped to me. So anyway, we're going to build some hinges, and since I don't have a spool gun for this machine, for aluminum, I'm going to make bolt-on hinges for it, where I can just bolt them on out of mild steel. And I got something going here. You can kind of see that little draw out. This will be one side of the hinge, I'm thinking, kind of like a gate hinge, but it's going to be a little bit different. But I'm going to start cutting that out and start cutting these out and uh, see what I can put together and try to get this thing knocked out and get it back working right.
All right, I went ahead and got the hinges on there. They're not completely bolted in yet. It's almost dark out here, so I just had to go ahead and try to get them on. These bins just about wore me out trying to get it all bent up right because there's three different bins in it. After I got the first one, I was good. But they're on there. I just got to put three bolts in each one. And everything should be good on there. I'll put a nut on this side and there. I might cut those off. But anyway, finally those are there. I'll get those bolted on and tomorrow I'll start on the vents and the racks. There's my son. <laughs> All right, the last thing y'all see me doing was cutting these shapes out right here. Here's the other one over here. And these are for the vents on the bottom. Just trying to kind of copy these that are on the top because that same thing came off the bottom. But uh, I was trying to hurry and cut them earlier because I had to deliver a barbecue pit. It's dark out there now. It's, it's kind of late. Cause I had to deliver a barbecue pit and we had a revival starting at uh, one of the churches, our churches associated with. So I wanted to go to, the, to that revival tonight. And uh, so now I'm back out here. You can see that one rough edge, just, I gotta clean it up some. What I did, I cleaned this out. And the edges that were too, uh, too low, I built them up with weld. And now I'm gonna clean it back out and see if it's right. And I see it's starting to rain out here. Dang it, I'm fixing that to wrap it up. So let me try to get that done. Alright, that was the racks I was just doing. And I got those put in. There's a coal rack down there. I went ahead and painted these hinges too with some high temp paint. And these little vents. I didn't show a lot on these little vents. I showed cutting that piece out. And then I used a file to clean These things were a pain. It's got a little notch on the back side that catches. And then that little handle on top. I just tried to simulate the ones that were already there. So I'm going to start getting all that stuff put back on. And I think I may need to put a, like a door stop on the back side of it so it don't swing all the way around. Alright y'all, that'll wrap that thing up. I'm pretty sure that's all he wanted done to it anyway. There's got to be some kind of stand that it sits in and I'm guessing he has that already. Coal rack's down there. That 
That's the hinges back there. That's that door stop I just made. I got to thinking about it. The hinges that were on there, the last time I seen one of these anyway, there's a, a, a stop that's made into the hinge. And that's how they would normally keep from going all the way back. But since I didn't even think about that until those were on there, I just went ahead and made that door stop. I also did these, uh, let me flip it over. Hmm. These little vents on the bottom. Like I say, I think that'll get everything wrapped up. Now it's gonna be hard to flip back over. Now I just gotta get the shit back out. But everything came out real good. I may have, I wonder if I didn't do a little overkill with the hinges. I mean, they look good, but I could have done a much simpler version of the nose. But they look good on there. One thing I didn't like that I had ended up having to do. Just rack out. I didn't have these hinge holes lined out good. And I ended up having to notch these little ridges right here. To get the nut to go in there. And those ridges are for holding the uh, rack in. They're all the way around it. And so I had to notch those out. I wish I wouldn't have had to do that. And if I'd have had stuff here to weld aluminum, I could have just closed those holes back up and moved them over some. So hopefully that's not a problem. I mean, it's not going to hurt anything because I did the top still there where it can hold them. And as soon as you cook on it, it's going to turn it back black so then it'll never even be noticeable. So hopefully that don't end up being a problem for him. I had to cut the top off of that nut right there, or that bolt, so the rack would sit in right. But the rack's a good tight fit. You can't get it no tighter than that. So anyway, man, if y'all like these type of videos, man, please like and subscribe. Uh, I'm not sure what the next one's going to be, man. I've been doing a couple on fabrication tips, welding tips and stuff. But uh, I'm not sure what the next one's going to be. But y'all come on back for the next one, man. We'll see you then.